Hey, Viola Rolls here, and welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. So, um, we're heading towards the Shrine of Judgment, which I think is down here, if I'm not mistaken. Because it's behind the red door, and this is the only red door I can think of that's over here. Yep, Shrine of Judgment. It's this red door, right? Hey! Hey, Kaede. I have one more question. Hmm. Do you really think it's one of us? Not just the culprit, but the mastermind as well? Huh? Huh? Isn't that what you told me, Suichi? It was a theory. Uh, okay. Yes, but... It's just, that was only my deduction. I don't know if I should trust that. Uh, come on, Suichi. Hmm. Well, I don't know if it's true either, but that's why we need to confirm it. If you just dismiss a possibility and look the other way without confirming anything, yeah. then you're just turning your back on the truth. What's the matter? What's the matter, Suichi? You seemed so sure of yourself during the investigation. Sorry. Ugh, sorry. Let's go. I'm sure they're waiting for us inside. Suichi's lack of confidence is heartbreaking and oh my god, what is that? What? So, this is a shrine of judgment. Everyone! Careful, everyone. If bad things happen, get behind Gonta. <laughs> By the way, I just want to say that calling Gonta, Gontero, and Gonto is just a mistake on my part because I can't remember his name for some reason. It's Gonta. I'm going to try to commit that to memory. Then give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> Come on, carry me. Bitch! Oh my god, you're so annoying. Where do we... So, are we doing the class trial here or what? Probably behind the waterfall. No, Monokuma made it sound like we'd be guided somewhere from here. That is troubling. But Monokuma is nowhere to be seen. What's going on? Um, I want to know more about the Monokuma statue. This Monokuma statue gives off such a weird vibe. You also remember that it wasn't here earlier. Oh. Kind of makes you think of Monokuma Rock from Gamarapa 2, but this is somehow creepier. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, this is definitely creepier. Okay. So this is how we get to the trial ground. I feel like the sound decent in that scene. Huh? Wow, that was loud. Is this an elevator? This is. Does he want us to board it? I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't do scary rides. <sighs> I don't want to get on it either. Hmm. Stay behind them. Though I'm sure that it'll just be worse for you in the end. I guess. Yeah, that's true. I know. If you desire. However, if everyone wishes to run away, I will cooperate as well. No. That's probably not a good idea. There's nowhere to run. As long as that end wall exists, escape's not an option. End wall. Hey. It'll be fine. Let's all work together. Remember our promise? We're gonna escape this place and remain good friends afterward. <laughs> With some hiccups, yes. I'll get us out of here. So, let's do it. I'm sure we'll be alright. Mm-hmm. Because we make such an incredible team. Huh. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to call myself a man if I was still scared after hearing a girl say that. Bring it! Luminary. I'll show them how I, Kaido Momota, Luminary of the Stars, live. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you mean die? Dumbass. Don't say something all ominous like that. I'm yeah, we've come so far already. We just gotta do it. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, we have no choice. We can't turn back now. Determined, we all stepped forward. Even as we walked toward the elevator, I was shaking with anxious dread. But I kept going. Because I decided to fight. And then everyone had boarded the elevator. Just like usual, an elevator takes us to our destination. Going down. Yeah, 
me of the elevator shot, as always. Oh, that's super cool. It's actually an elevator. Were you skeptical? Even so, this elevator is going pretty far down. Yep, like always. <laughs> We're falling. I wonder how far we will plummet. Uh, I suddenly have to go to the bathroom real bad. Well, too late. By all means, go ahead. Um, Kilo. Of course. A robot wouldn't understand how inappropriate that is. <laughs> As we waited to reach our destination, I whispered to Suichi. Um, Shuichi? About that talk from before. By the way, you won't be hearing me do any more voice acting once the trial starts, because they always do full voice acting for that. What? I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to find the truth are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So, fight for the truth. Even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. That's sweet. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. I used to be like you. Really? Before a piano concert, I was always so nervous that I thought I would vomit. Wow. But then I would remember all the people I've made smile with my performances. Kaede. And that makes it all worthwhile. Alright, let's go. It's better to end bad stuff like this as soon as possible. Well, you with your optimistic thinking. Those words were mainly for me. To inspire me so I would not turn back. So I wonder what the trial ground looks like in this game. After some time, the elevator finally came to a halt. The door slowly opened to reveal what awaited us on the other side. Ooh, I like this one. Why, hello, Bear! Welcome to the class trial. Yay! Oh boy, the class trial is finally starting. Finally, a game that actually feels like a game. Bingo! Just as the prophecy foretold. Got it? Listen up, from here on, things are gonna get violent, so you'll. Things are going to get so violent you'll wish you could turn back. Oh, no. That's not true. There won't be any gore or violent scenes. I'm positive. Oh, Monopony. This is... This is an authentic replica of a courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> what bad taste. Oh, jeez. Why are you making us do this? Is this fun for you? Well, yes. <laughs> and there's Monokuma. Psycho! Of course! Putting strangers in life or death scenarios is the best entertainment! You're the worst of the worst! You are seriously the worst. <laughs> <laughs> worst or not, those who have fun are the real winners in this world. <laughs> it doesn't matter what terrible things you do or are done to you as long as you're having fun. Oh, I see. Ah, this is so sickening, it's almost refreshing. So how do we get this game going? Well now. There are podiums over there. Please stand behind the one with your name on it. Following Monokuma's instructions, we headed to our respective podiums. As I walked toward my podium, an image of his body flashed in my mind. Rantaro. He died without knowing his ultimate talent. No, he was murdered by some horrible low-life scumbag. I'll never forgive his killer. That's why. We're going to expose the mastermind and end this killing game. That's all I can do for Antarum now. His killer is in this room with us, so we have this Dagoronko 2 layout here. The mastermind who's controlling Monokuma and forcing us to play this killing game. I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to find out who that person is. But we have to find out who it is so we can lift our suspicions of each other. So we can end this killing game. That's why I'm here. I can't show any fear here. I must fight till the bitter end. I will face this life or death class trial. Let's go. And I know we can do preparations beforehand, so I would like to say. So I think it's a very good idea. Save to here. And let's go. Um, I guess I have to hit escape. 
Okay. No one wanted to believe it was real, but Rintaro was killed just before the time limit. Yeah, this just gives you a summary of everything you know. Anyway, let's look at our skills. Um, so I have 18 um, friendship uh, fragments to spend. Increases the maximum influence uh, a little. Affected during all parts of the class trial. Cannot be combined with envious influence. Okay. And you can see in the middle, it shows you how it'll influence um, your influence gauge and your focus gauge. I like that. Um, this one, of course, upgrades your focus gauge, which is used to help you concentrate. It used to be co called the concentration gauge in the other ones, but it's now called the focus gauge. Lost in thought slightly increases the time limit in each phase, affected during all parts of the class trials. We're 16, though. Yikes. Increases the amount of influence recovered by right answers. That actually might not be bad for me to have, because I know I'm going to take damage. Cool and compose. Makes the reticle shapeless. Yes, uh, cannot be combined with tranquility, which is... what? These, um, question mark ones are, um, abilities we learned from the people in our group once we filled out our friendship gauge with them, I'm guessing. Because that's how it worked in the first game, but they changed it for the second game where you could just buy skills outright from your um, e-handbook or monopad in this case. But I didn't see that option in the monopad, so these must be unlocked through filling up somebody's friendship gauge all the way. Trigger happy, increases the delay after using truth bullets. Um, neutral liberation makes the focus gauge drain slower while concentrating and during fever time. The illusion slowly recovers the influence gauge while concentrating and during fever time. That's an interesting one. Jeez, there's a lot here. Mind's Eye reveals V-points affected during non-stop and mass panic debates. What are V-points? Silences all conversation except those the reticle is on. Effect during mass panic debates. I don't know what that means. It's, that must be something that's new. Mass panic debates? It instantly silences loud noises? The key word in the first speaker's argument will be shown from the start. Effective during debate scrums. Uh, entire screen will light up more frequently. Effective during Hangman's Gambit version 3.0. So they've redone that. To clear mind. Increases the amount of letter cues that can be acquired at once. Effective during Psyche Taxi. Okay, that's new. It's easier to push the opponent back during blade lock, affected during rebuttal showdowns. Okay, rebuttal showdowns are still a thing. Good to know. Uh, removes the time penalty for breaking a non-erasable piece. Affected during imagination excavation. There's a mining game in this now? Oh god. Intention gauge will increase at a faster rate, affected during argument arm moment. Wow, there's so many new elements. I guess... I'll do um, charisma purchase. Yes, skill obtain set. Um, cool and compose. Yes, I want that as well. That's all I can get for now because everything else is worth. Well, actually, there is one that's worth two. Upshift increases the speed of the reticle. Effective during non-stop debates. Cannot be combined with downshift. Hmm. Is there anything else I could purchase? No, nope, just those two are left. I guess... I guess I'll unlock this and equip it. Okay. And that's all I can put for now. By the way, the um, um the skills, the skill number, like it said 18 out of 20, it's determined by whatever level you are when you're walking around and clicking on stuff. Uh, view handbook to, actually I do want to view the handbook real quick because I want to review one of the truth bullets. The promotional BMG, promotional video, background, Start the killing games on full volume until a murder occurred. Hmm. This has to be a hint for something, but I guess we'll find that out in a bit. So let's go ahead 
and uh, begin class trial number one. Class trial in session. Ahem. Now then, let's begin with the basic explanation of the class trial. Okay. During the trial, you'll present your arguments for who the culprit is and vote for who done it. Vote correctly, and only the blackened will be punished. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will graduate from this academy. It's really distracting how I can hear Monokuma's old voice, what, like in the new one that he's trying to also, do. refusing to vote will result in your death. So you better vote for someone. Hmm, that's highlighted. Does that mean somebody's gonna refuse to vote at some point? I hope not. Now let's get this crazy awesome, crazy awesome trial underway! Yes, let's get started. So, it's starting, huh? Yep. <laughs> oh man, I haven't been in a trial in like, forever. Have you ever been in a trial? Oh, so you have experience with trials? I don't know why, if you would. Yeah, since I'm a leader of evil and stuff, <laughs> I've done a lot of bad things. I still feel like your special talent is alive, but okay, whatever. So, what are we supposed to do? Where do we even start? Gonta never done trial before. Not sure where to begin. First, let's breathe in and breathe out. We need to remember our no, no, no's. No what are you talking no about? Running, no talking. Well, we have to talk, so... You can go away with that. Communication is the foundation of any discussion. Thank you, Kilo. We should not worry about our procedure, especially since this is not a normal trial. What do you mean? Each of us will be serving as a potential culprit, lawyer, prosecutor, and jury member. Okay, yeah, you have a point. Let us proceed with that in mind, shall we? Yes, let's. Then might I offer the first topic? Please, be my guest. Don't fucking get ahead of us! You trying to start some shit? Oh my god. C calm down. How about we listen first? Mm. Atua has spoken. He says it is vital that we hear everyone's testimony. I'm a good listener because my ears are clean. Once, I cleaned them so hard, they bled. Okay, great. Thanks, I'll I guess. I'll begin the conversation, then. There's something I found curious. What? Why, I wonder, didn't the culprit take advantage of the first blood perk? Yes, we should figure that out I first. I thought that was strange, too. <laughs> the monocubs have uh, animations in the background. I like that. I bet they just wanted to do a class trial real bad. No. Then Monokuma's the culprit, the doy! Because this whole class trial was his idea. Um, have you forgotten the rules the teachers can't interfere? Oh yeah! Easy peasy! I'm a fucking genius! Uh-huh. Wait, is it even possible for Monokuma to be the culprit? No, it is not. Of course not! I would never do anything to you guys directly. Even if you can't, it's a different story for the person controlling you, right? Hmm? Is well. it possible that the mastermind controlling Monokuma killed Rantaro? I want to say no. Mastermind? Was that? I don't know any mastermind. <laughs> You've never heard of him. Don't play dumb with me. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? Well, they obviously aren't anyone in our group, I don't think. The mastermind, huh? Odds are, it's one of us. Um... Well, they already played this card in the first game and kind of in the second one, so I hope they don't do that again. Way over here. Everyone else thinks so, too. Um, nobody thinks that. What? Does everyone really think that? No. We'll get to the bottom of this. Yes, can we start the first non-stop debate, please? 
sort of this non-responsiveness it ends up being a problem during the trial Before I'm probably we going to break the something we must uncover the culprit then we could start by determining the sequence of events yes let's do that let's take a closer look at the circumstances of Rantaro's death Gonta agrees with Shuichi. After all, Shuichi is ultimate detective. Then let us start by reviewing the incident. Yes. All right, let's do this. We can find the mastermind if we work together. Oh yeah, I will read um, Kaede's thoughts, but that's pretty much it. When this class trial is over, we'll know exactly who the mastermind is. You keep thinking that, but seriously, let's get started. And now the class trial has begun. As things progress during each class trial, non-stop debates will occur. Okay, so true cylinder, it's truth, well, okay, it works exactly the same as last time, except the time's down in the corner. Um, during non-stop debates, characters will speak one after another without pause. It's up to you to unearth any lies or contradictions in their statements. You'll have to use the truth bullets you gather to refute what they say. Right. Any relevant truth bullets you found during the investigation will be loaded into the truth cylinder. Move the mouse to aim the reticle and left click to fire. Aim for the gold words displayed in their statements. Those are the weak spots. Yeah, if you hit anything else, it just bounces off and goes somewhere. There's a chance that the lies or contradictions are hiding within those weak spots. But remember, you might not be able to refute them all, and you have to use the right truth bullet. Compare everyone's statements to the truth bullets you have. And shoot your truth bullet at the proper weak spot. Note that if you run out of time, you'll, you will automatically fail, so please be careful. Oh, I almost forgot! The new element! New element, what? During the trial, you can concentrate using the spacebar to make time slow down. Okay, that's not new. It will also reveal a small red dot within weak spots called the viewpoint. Okay, that's just the controls. Oh, so this was the viewpoint thing that the skills were talking about. If you hit that with the correct truth bullet, you'll get an awesome V counter. Bullseye! Huh. V counters really improve your score and the number of mono coins you earn, so try that out. Okay, cool. During the non-stop debate, pressing the F3 key will bring up the controls. Give them a look. I think I'm good. Non-stop debate. Let's go. As usual, I'll listen to Rentaro's everyone. Body was found. Oh god. Just before the time limit, right? Oh, the words are different. In the library. That's true. Rantaro was alone in the library. Mm -hmm. The culprit could have snuck up on him. Oh god, why? In the library anyway. No one knows. He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. Yes. That means Rantaro was masterminding this whole thing. Yeah. I slightly disagree. Um, contradiction. Okay, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. Let's go. Prince is right there. Yeah, I know. Rantaro's body was found just before the time limit, right? Yes. He was killed in the library. Rantaro was alone in the library. The culprit could have snuck up on him. What was he even doing in the library anyway? He was opening that moving bookcase for one reason. Because he knew about the hidden door. Mm -hmm. That means Rantaro was Wait. Oh, hey, I got two achievements. Just according to Rampa and Vinny, Vindy, Vinci. So I hit the V thing. Wait a minute. Um, I don't think Rantaro was the mastermind. It said that left click was to trigger because I had to right click to get the bullet to shoot. Just pointing that out for a second. Huh? Why? Because Rantaro didn't have the card key to open the hidden door. Right. You'd think the mastermind would have that card key on him, right? Right. Perhaps the culprit took the card key after killing Rantaro. But why? But none of the pictures show Rantaro holding the card key. Yeah. So I don't really think he had the key at all. Also, if the mastermind had died there, this killing game would have already ended. Right. You are correct. 
The possibility of him being the mastermind is quite low. Then how Rantaro know about Hidden Door? Maybe he was spying on someone? Maybe he stumbled across it in the library. You know, like how Shuichi did? Hmm. Or maybe the mastermind told him about it. Yeah, that. I also had an idea that that was a possibility. What? Why would the mastermind tell him that? To get him in position so he could be killed? To lure Rantaro to the library and kill him. Does that mean the culprit and the mastermind are one and the same? Possibly. Hmm. That does seem plausible. But again, that would be too easy. It's very likely the mastermind knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap. True, because Rantaro did disable the sensors. The mastermind knew about our trap this whole time? Well, there are surveillance cameras everywhere. You guys weren't exactly being secretive. This case may have become the perfect crime thanks to your hidden cameras. But only one the of them is hidden. The knew Dark about your trap and exploited it to commit their crime. So after the mastermind lured Rantaro and murdered his ass, they used Kai Idiot and Puichi's hidden cameras to arrange the perfect <laughs> crime. Kai Idiot and Puichi. <laughs> Did they really take advantage of our trap, though? Um... Maybe, but I kind of... I don't know. Is this really the perfect crime? Are we in an unsolvable mystery? No. I guess this is a dead end. My god, you guys. Wait, don't give up that easily. We already know the culprit is the mastermind. So we assume. We gotta work together to find the mastermind. Then we can end this killing game. You yap about teamwork and all that. But you still think one of us is the mastermind. Yes. And I know that's a horrible thought. But that's why I want to end all the terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind and end this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do that. Kaede. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> wow. Looks like you're determined to face even a cold, hard truth. Then here it comes. The cold, hard truth. I swear if you say something idiotic right now. Huh? I already figured out who killed Rantaro. No, you didn't. You said you didn't do any investigation. What? You, you didn't do any investigating. What? Why are you surprised? Because he didn't do anything. Because if he's right... That would make this the fastest class trial to date! Yeah, that too. How fast was the previous record anyway? Real fast, let me tell you. He was like a leaf on the wind. What are you guys talking about? I guess now he's one with the wind. Yeah, I think about him this time of year too. Where in the world are you guys talking Lady about? Sword through the enemy fleet hall, badass! Just to die like a little punk. Shut it, you weirdos. It's an important <laughs> conversation. Kokichi, are you serious about knowing who the culprit is? No, he's not. Yep. So, we all agree that the culprit knew about Kaede and Shuichi's trap, right? Okay, go on. No shit. That's why they're not in any of the pictures. So who is it? So whoever knew about the hidden cameras is the culprit. Wait, you're about to pin this on Miu? It's not her. So who the hell is it? It's you! Okay, we have to defend Miu now. What? You made the cameras used for the trap, right? Obviously, whoever made the cameras knew about the blind spots. That's not true, she made them, but she didn't help us set them up. Before breakfast was the only time someone would be able to sneak by. Wh what the hell brought this on all of a sudden? I... I just designed the cameras. I didn't know they'd get set up in the library. That's true, because we didn't tell her that. Cameras? I totally asked what they were for. But she didn't. 
How come you never asked what the cameras were for? Huh? Huh? I, I, I pulled an all-nighter making them and afterward just sort of passed out. Oh, yeah, that's right. So she did say that Mia was too tired to insult him. You're getting awfully worked up. Look at you. You're sweating. I'm always wet. I'm just feeling extra sensitive, like these big boobs of mine. <laughs> My God. For someone so aggressive, you're kind of a wimp, huh, Mia? Come on! Pour me up the hook already. D -d Do you want money? Is that it? Your pathetic excuses are consistent with those of a common male criminal. Oh my god, what is wrong with you? Everyone's starting to suspect me, but is that really okay? No, it's not okay. From here on out, blue-colored weak spots will appear. Oh yeah, these are the ones that you agree with rather than refute. If we call the weak spots you've seen up until now argue points, these blue-colored points will be called agree points. When shooting agree points with truth bullets, you need to flip your way of thinking. Instead of arguing that the other person's testimony contains lies or mistakes, please fire the truth bullet that proves the other person's testimony is correct. When your truth bullets merge with their statement, they will complement each other, resulting in a consent. From now on, you must infer whether it's best to argue or agree based on what's being debated. You can also be consent, so if you're confident, give that a shot. Thank you for your time. Respectfully, System. Thank you, System. I think that's the first time the narrator for the tutorial has been given a name. That's interesting. Okay, desk card reader. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I listen have to what they know. had to say. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? The person who made the cameras would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well, I didn't make the cameras either. That's a lie. Well, she technically didn't make the cameras, but she modified them. Mia is so shaken up that she's starting to dig herself deeper with her own lies. I need to take her side. Rushing to judgment will only make things worse. Why don't you just admit uh, it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library, okay? That's the one I need to shoot, but I don't know with what. Would have known their blind spots too. I forget what Corey Kyo's yeah, account well, was. I didn't make the cameras either. Um. Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way. That's not possible. So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea. Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library. Okay. Okay, cool. I missed. Great. Uh, I would have known their blind spots, too. Yeah, well, How in the world I do I fast forward either. dialogue? Why don't you just admit it already? You're the culprit, aren't you, Mew? No way! That's not possible! So you knew nothing about the trap in the library? I'm telling you, I had no idea! Not like it matters. Because I never went to the library. Okay, okay. I agree with cool. You. Okay, so I did need Kore Kiyo's account. I forget what Corey Kyo's account I don't think was. You went to the basement either, right, Kyo? Of course she didn't. Mia was in the dining hall during the murder. Okay, so Mia was the other one with Sumidi watching him. I saw yeah. her there while dining on what I thought would be my last supper. The pasta on the menu tastes like a lonely old lady eating her grandkids' birthday cake. 
Right. Don't feel bad for her. She got to eat her tasty grandkid on his birthday. Oh my god. That's too sad to make sense. <laughs> pops for ya. So there you have it. Muse alibi. You fucking slug. Why didn't you say so earlier? Oh, uh, yeah. Good true. job, Kaede. Guess I shouldn't have judged you by your lackluster rack. Oh, my God. What Gilgamesh level condescension. But which Grey of War are you from? Another cosplay well, another reference. Another reference we don't get. <laughs> you must be a hardcore loser. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Sometimes my hobbies just sort of slip in. Hey! Don't be acting all cocky, Kokichi. You put my ass in the hot seat earlier. Oh, no. How about you just keep your fucking mouth shut, you lying little abortion? Whoa. That was an unnecessary <laughs> insult. That was really uncalled for. I only said that to find the culprit. And there we go with the waterworks. <laughs> You're so mean! Oh, my God. Hey, I feel a lot better now. <laughs> cool your jets, kid. Samugi and Kirumi were both in the dining hall as well. Oh, that's why I was confused, because he referred to them by their last name, and I haven't memorized anybody's last name. We can dismiss those four as potential culprits if they were together the entire time. No, not the entire time. At one point, Samugi went to the restroom. Oh... So you brought that up after all. Yeah. It's true. I went to the restroom closest to the dining hall. Oh? Did I hear that right? The restroom, you say? What? Do you have something that contradicts that? Excellent! I was waiting for this moment. I'm getting so excited right now! What? Ew! Why? Did you take a firm dump? Or was it a soft one? God, please don't Why resort to toilet humor. Again, really, with the toilet humor, we had this in Donnarumpa too as well. But I really did just go to the restroom, not the basement, you know? Also, I don't think I was there long enough to be suspicious, right? You're the ultimate cosplayer, though. Okay, we now need to prove that she can't disguise herself as anybody who's a real person. You disguised yourself as someone else while you were out. No, she couldn't have because she has the cause box. No, no, I don't do disguises. Which is true. I don't think that's possible, and I know the reason why. The reason why Samiki couldn't have been in disguise is because of the cause box. I get it. Tsumugi can only cosplay as fictional characters. That's what cosplay is supposed to be in the first place. Lately, some people prefer to cosplay as non-fictional characters, which is unforgivable. Why? It's so unforgivable that I break out in cospox if I even attempt it. Yeah. Yeah, the cospox was pretty gross. Yeah, it was. I see. If that's the case, then there's no way you could have been in disguise. I'm kind of surprised that the first trial brought that up. I kind of expected that to be brought up in another trial. Sorry about that, Samugi. I just thought it was something to check. Oh no, it's fine. I'm not bothered by it at all. Aw, Samugi is so nice. She's way better than you. <laughs> well, fuck you too. <laughs> Getting back on topic, we now have alibis for the people in the dining hall. Right. So we know that Kirumi, Samugi, Mew, and Kyo can't be the culprit. Right. Congratulations to the four of you. You can all leave now. No, they can't leave. Huh? Can they? No. So what about the swines who went to the basement? They're all suspicious, right? Which of us went to the basement? Well, when Shuichi and I were on lookout, we saw... Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tenko, Himiko, Angie, and Rantaro. So, seven people in total. So the culprit is among those seven? Yes. 
But of course, what? Why are you laughing? That includes you too. Oops, excluding Rentaro, one of the six people who headed to the basement. Is the mastermind of this killing game? The person who's making us endure all these terrible things? Why not torture the truth out of them? It would be the quickest method. Uh, no, let's not do that. Wait, please! No torture! My tolerance for pain is actually really, really low. It is? Aren't you a fighter? I'll tell you everything! Anything! Just please don't hurt me! Please just tell us what happened. If the culprit is among that group, then wouldn't Maki be the most suspicious? Why Maki? Just look at her. She could definitely kill someone. Oh my god, it's like Kaito looking at her and saying, yeah, you could probably fight someone. Stop being so stupid. Culprit could easily be anyone, like Kaito. Why? Because he summoned you, you all to the about? basement? There's no way I'm the culprit! <laughs> That's a face. Who's the culprit? Who? Gonta is gentlemen. Gentlemen not hurt people. You did throw the shot put ball, so you can't say that. It's not me either. Murder sounds like way too much work. I have an alibi. You do? No, you don't. What? Who's the culprit for fuck's sake? <laughs> we need to calm down. If everyone talks all at once, then we can't discuss anything. Oh no. Is this the thing they were talking it's about? Right, we just need to listen to everyone's statements. All at once? Please don't. You can do this, right? Yes, but not if what's about to happen happens. Listen to everyone's statements? That's right, I can pick out everyone's voices as they talk over each other. No, please don't make me do that. I only went because I was invited. Why don't you ask the shady guy who invited me? What? You mean me? But I just said it wasn't me! Don't thrust the blame onto me! You degenerate males and you're thrusting! Ugh. Ew, god, why? I'm not a bad girl, really. If you don't believe me, ask my mommy. Really? I have an alibi! I am also not the culprit too. Oh no, all three people are talking at once. Everyone is clamoring to prove their innocence. There's a panic in the courtroom. Nice panic at the disco reference. Oh, that's right. It's time. You will now be thrown into a mass panic debate. Okay, so this is new. During the mass panic debate, three debates will happen at the same time. Remain calm. It's just like the non-stop debate. Okay. You're just hearing triple the opinions. Simple, right? Aim at the conversation you really want to hear and concentrate to listen more clearly. Sort through everyone's opinions and find the lie or contradiction and refute it. You can also use V-Counter, so if you're confident, give that a shot. Sorry to take up your time. Thanks for being a sport about it. Thanks, system. Mass panic debate. Okay, let's do this. Receive on sweet gene library oh, from Mommy. Guys, I would never punch a foe oh, from behind. What? Are you talking about me? We were having a strategy meeting together, remember? Rentaro's the only one who left in the middle of it. That's true. None of us there could have killed him. All the different voices are confusing me, but Kaido's statement was suspicious, right? Um. Oh, okay, I know what to do, I know what to do, I know what to do, okay, cool. I have now I'm a little bit suspicious. Are you talking about me? Mm-hmm. We were having a strategy meeting together, remember? Rentaro's the only one who Nice. Okay, so this is cool. I kind of like that new element to the uh, class trial. Wasn't there someone else who disappeared other than Rentaro? That idiot already forgot. Gonta also left during the strategy meeting. Right. Yeah, he locked himself up in the AV room and... 
Hey, wait a sec. Idiot! <laughs> Is that right, Gonta? Y yes. Gonta watched Bug Movie to fill Gonta with fight so Gonta can fight Monokuma. Were you trying to imagine yourself as a huge mantis with swords for hands? No. Oh, come on! How is looking at bugs supposed to put you in a fighting mood? A terrible idea. Like putting ketchup on a hot dog. I agree with that, but I mean, my brother likes ketchup on hot dogs. I don't know why, though. But why I did you lock the door? Because Gonta need focus. Everyone suspect Gonta? Why? Because you don't have an alibi. Oh, Gonta just need alibi? Yeah. Okay, Gonta will get alibi. Just tell Gonta where to find it. Um, that's not what good. You can't buy an alibi, the Gonta. This debate is going. This will be difficult to refute. Oh. <laughs> what will you do? Without an alibi, we'll all choose you. Gonta, please understand that in order to reveal the truth, you must also participate. But Gonta not sure where to start. Well, why don't you tell us what happened from the point when Kaito recruited you to when you locked yourself in the AV room. You just have to tell everyone why you couldn't have done it. If you're not the culprit and we all vote for you, then we're dead too. Our lives are riding on your word. You got this. Okay, Gonta will try. For everyone's sake. Let's need to check something real quick. <laughs> fight, Gonta! And we'll see if, if Gonta can fight um, in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, give this video a like. Also, be sure to like my Facebook page and follow me on Twitter as well as support my Patreon and check out my reaction channel. All those links will be in the description below. And subscribe for more. And if you are subscribed or you subscribe right now, be sure to hit that bell icon so you get notified when I upload videos. This is Viola Rolls, signing off. Talk to you later.